This is my post fight reaction to Jared Anderson versus Charles Martin. And from round one, which I already kind of knew this going in based off what I've seen from Jared before, but he had like a real lackadaisical defense and, and kind of a way of treating his opponents. He, he don't really respect them too much. You could tell by his guard, you could tell by his demeanor, you could tell by the way he walks forward. And so I was like, oh, that's a little bit of an issue. But then the other issue I was noticing, I started noticing more in round two and round three where he, he has a, a, a reactionary jump back or lean back, not anticipatory, meaning that he doesn't time it uh, he, he reacts by jumping back, right? So when you're reacting in that way, I, I said in, in round four, I was like, what, what Martin needs to do is step through with the left hand. Don't don't throw the left hand standing. He needs to step uh, further in when Anderson pulls back and then he could catch him. And that's how he was catching him a lot of times. He would he would step through with the jab and then throw the left hand after. He would throw a left hand and then throw a double left hand after. And so that's how he was catching him. But he would step through and, and follow him, chase him down whenever he would reactionary jump back or lean back. And so uh, Anderson showed a, a good chin. He showed good cardio, good speed. Uh, we already knew he was fast for a heavyweight. Um, he showed uh, some good upper body movement at times, good head movement and stuff like that. But at times he also did, you know, I, I think I, I think his stuff was too repetitive and he had to relax in like the, the, the latter rounds, like round seven, eight, nine. He had to relax and, and control everything. And that way he started mixing up his uh, defensive reactions and stuff like that. So he wasn't doing the same pull back and lean back and getting timed and timed and timed again. And so um, he did. A, he also did a good job early on of shutting down Charles Martin's jab. And then in round one, I noted round one and two, I noticed he was throwing a lot of ones and twos to the head and body. I was like, I feel like he gonna go around with some looping shots. And then that's what he did in round three. He came around with that right hook over top, that right overhand, and put him down. And so I, I noticed some small things. I might make a post-fight true breakdown, depending on what y'all want. I'll, I'll do like a full analysis. But for right now, I'll just stick with the basics. I don't think there's anything else I got to say. Let me see. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Just when he was, he was more successful when he was being patient and respecting Martin. When he wasn't being patient, when he wasn't respecting Martin, when he was coming forward with the lazy defense, he was getting tagged up. And so, yeah, I would say that's that's my thoughts. Immortality Serum out. Immortality Serum is the faction. Plenty entertainment if you're asking. Game of commentary and reactions. There ain't no faking. Neither is the capping. It just goes lights, camera, action.